So the International Eagles Conference has kicked off in Remnant Christian Network, Makode. I couldn't make it for the prophet suddenly, Air Pass of God, per two premiere, all right? I really wanted to be there, but then, but as soon as they release it on YouTube, I'm going to watch it and upload and, of course, do my review. Okay, so while I was watching one of their procession, I saw something quite interesting that the wife of Apostle Ramosai says, I thought that I should share. I want to thank our father, my sweetheart, God's own apostle, Aramel Sai, for his consistent obedience to the heavenly vision, for his commitment to the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and most of all, for leading us all at the remnant nation to strive for the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. May the Lord continue to strengthen and keep you, sir. I just want to say a, a thank you from every one of us. A thank you. Honestly, I didn't know what traveling for missions was about. Every time I was at home and Apostle traveled the world, I will stay there and complain, when are you coming back? What are you doing? But the moment I got on that same mission trip, I began to see how hectic it was. Really strain us going from nation to nation, having the burden for souls, having the burden of the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. It was not easy. At that point, I wanted to jump off the train to come back home. Because I was like, this is so much. But I had no choice but to keep going because I must support the man of God. Thank you so much. We are grateful. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. Thank you for your labors in the kingdom of God. Thank you for your labors in the nations of the world. We are so grateful. God bless you. I also want to thank our guest ministers for putting their hands to the floor and refusing to look back. Thank you so much, sirs. Thank you for honoring the Lord. Thank you. We look forward to drinking from your wells of which, of that which you have with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And thank you for agreeing to come be a blessing to us and the body of Christ. I want to thank every... Oh, yes. We can see Apostle Edu right here. I, I want to tell you a secret. I want to tell you a secret. I remember Apostle Edu was one of those who stayed at my house. Can you believe it? Oh, yes. He stayed in my house for about one year. And I really thank God, the great and mighty thing. You know, he was believing God to start his ministry. He came for a retreat. And when he came, as usual, my husband, he won't tell you someone is coming. And then he appeared. The first time I was like, was this tall, fair guy? <laughs> but he came and he was always laboring in the place of prayer, prayer, prayer. And the ministry, he bettered it, he bettered it out of prayer. God bless you, Apostle Ridu, for all that you do. Thank you so much. All it's right, and only understanding us, but we value vision. this. And of course, I am married.